Finally, now President Cyril Ramaphosa will today wear the title of Grand Patron of the National Orders. He's expected to bestow national orders to people who played a role in building a democratic South Africa. Our reporter Kaya Kumalo is in Pretoria for us. He joins us now live. Kaya, a number of icons on that list of people who will be awarded icons. The, uh, the wife of struggle icon Robert Subukwe, uh, Zondweni Subukwe, that is her name, and uh, an actress Lillian Dube as well, who hopefully you'll be speaking to shortly but I want to just ask you about retired deputy former deputy chief justice Dihang Moseneke uh, he's been in the news over the past few months uh, with regard to the life is city many arbitration hearings uh, many South Africans will be happy to see that he is being uh, given this order today well, absolutely, Michelle. It's quite a very important day here in Pretoria. It's once again, South Africa, uh, this is like an annual event, uh, Michelle, uh, post the Freedom Day celebrations. Uh, South Africans who have done a very sterling contribution and also eminent uh, foreign nationals also do get a bit of recognition for their tireless and for the most uh, incredible contribution in making sure that South Africa uh, remains a, a winning nation, so to speak, and also uh, for the contribution in so many areas. So like you've just alluded, uh, that the retired uh, former Ch uh, Deputy Chief Justice, uh, Dihang Moseki, will be receiving one of the orders. And of course, um, you know, the, the, the president is a grand patron, but but maybe just to get a sense as to how are the recipients feeling just ahead of the occasion. Uh, one of them is a renowned actress here, Lillian Du, and she joins us live here. A very good morning to you, ma'am. Good morning to you, my son. I would imagine that you're very happy as we'll be getting this order of Ikamanga. I am very happy indeed and overwhelmed. And for me, I'm even happier because it started with the king of Lesotho, King Lizia Waburaro. He gave me the highest honor in Lesotho, the order of Ramatheatan. The following year, which was last year, I got an honorary doctorate. And this is happening. How do you think I feel? And also, more importantly, all of this happens to acknowledge your role in making sure that you put your craft into the map and also inspiring the young actresses, the young actors. So for you, how does it feel to actually see this happen? And most importantly, it's happening in my lifetime. I thought you get these things after you've died. So it was really saying to the young ones, I'll quote my mother. My mother always used to say to me, whatever you do, do well. Even if you sweep floors, shine them so that anybody who passes by can say, who did this? So I am saying, it's not about how much. Give me the job, I'll show you. And obviously your longevity into your craft as an actress, you have persevered and you have stayed on the cause. Any word you want to share with some up-and-coming actresses, even also to those who are established as well? Yes. For me, it wasn't about appearing on TV. It was about passion because I started acting at school, even though we didn't have drama schools. But if we had to do any literature, I'd always make sure that we dramatize. So that is why I've stayed, because the people who did it for money fell by the wayside. So I'm always saying, choose your passion can never go wrong with that. All right. Thank you so much indeed for those lovely words. It's my pleasure. Thank you, Mdana. Thank you. So absolutely, Michelle, that's uh, the renowned actress there, Lillian Dube. So she'll be getting one of uh, the prestigious awards here, the Order of Ikamanga. So and once again, Michelle, the significance of these orders. We know that in South Africa, we're trying to craft a new narrative in terms of our heritage and also in terms of the country, the standing itself, uh, issues like the national symbols, the national anthem. So the national orders into that narrative, that's where they also do come in. Also, we're expecting to see some foreign nationals as well being acknowledged. Uh, we're talking here about uh, the former leader of Liberia, Ellen Salif Johnson. Uh, we believe that uh, she won't be here, but she'll be getting uh, one of the national orders, uh, or are, um, the companions of our Tambo, one of the most uh, prestigious awards. And it gets given to those foreign nationals who are 
helping in terms of making sure that South Africa remains a thriving democracy and a prosperous nation, but also right here in the neighboring uh, country in Mozambique, the former leader, Joachim Chisano, will be getting such an order. So in so many areas as well, Michelle, whether you look at science, arts, politics, and in so many fields, uh, there'll be a lot of accolades uh, that will be given out here in Pretoria. Well, thanks very much.